Hotstar served 25 million concurrent users with its live stream of India vs Pakistan match in the Asia Cup. This is quite a huge number. But why is this a huge number? Before Hotstar, there was YouTube who has this world record of the most number of concurrent users who are seeing a live stream at a time. There were 8 million concurrent users seeing a video at a time. In 2015, this record was broken by Hotstar when an IPL match was streamed to 15 million concurrent users who were watching the match at the same time. Now before we move on to understand about the live streaming technology, let's first understand how this live streaming occurred before these live streaming apps came into our picture. We still used to watch football matches, cricket matches happening throughout the world. So how did this technology work? First of all, live does not mean that there is just a millisecond difference between the actual event happening and when it is reaching you. The difference can be in seconds, it can be 5 seconds, 10 seconds or even up to a minute. If someone says something wrong, the plug can be pulled and it is possible that what the person says did not reach you in the live video. That's simply because the plug was pulled at the right time and there was latency between when the person spoke and when the actual video reached you. Now let's first understand why this delay existed in the TV broadcast which used to happen before this live streaming technology came into the picture. Television signals are broadcasted by transmitters which are these large servers which are transmitting these signals. These signals reach you through various different means. It used to reach you through cables and after that came dish antennas and these signals started reaching you through satellites. Now during a live stream of a match, be it a FIFA match or be it a World Cup match, the live stream is first encoded. Now what does encoding mean? Before going to understand what encoding means, let's first understand what video means. A video is a collection of pictures which when run one after the another create effect of a moving video and that is actually a raw video. Now this raw video is quite big in size. This video has to be transmitted in the form of signals and this cannot be done in this raw form. So to basically reduce the size of this video, we use a technique called encoding. Encoding is a process in which we compress the video by breaking it down into multiple chunks without compromising the quality. Now there are various codecs which are used for this encoding methods. Some of these are AV1, HEVC, MPEG. So these are different codecs and that's the basically a way of breaking the video down without actually reducing its quality. So when a stream is being generated from the camera, it is first encoded. Now this encoded stream, it is sent by the transmitter through the cables or the satellites and it finally reaches you. This is called a live broadcast. Now between all these things where the video encoding is being happening and the stream is transferring through through the satellite or through the cables can take slight delay. This delay can be between 15 to 20 seconds and this delay has been used by a lot of bookies in different kind of matches be it FIFA matches or World Cup matches to actually earn some money because of this delay. Now let's come to live streaming. With the advent of these live streaming app, the live stream which is coming to you, it is coming through the internet, through the fiber optic cable which is laid under the sea. I have made another video talking about how does the internet work. If you want to fully understand how internet actually works, you can watch that video. Now let's move forward in this live streaming. So in this live streaming, the video has to come through us through the internet and it has to pass through the web servers which are actually rendering that video. Now as we are discussing the example of Hotstar which streams the maximum number of users across the globe, let's see how it works. So first the stream originates from the camera like it used to do in the live broadcasting. Now this stream, instead of going through the signals across the globe, it first goes through the Hotstar servers. Now these Hotstar servers then finally serve the traffic to the clients. Now it is not that as simple as it sounds. How does a server send the traffic to a client? So a client and server has to establish a connection. Now this connection is generally a persistent TCP connection. Why do you need a persistent connection? You need a persistent connection because you want the stream to keep coming in. You don't want to wait. You cannot keep on creating new connections every time. If you create a new connections every time, you would incur more time and the video would not remain live. So you need a persistent connection. To maintain this kind of persistent connection, there are various technologies available like web sockets. But the question is, are all the clients connected to different servers? These servers can be located anywhere across the globe. So what if a person sitting in London wants to watch an India-Pakistan match on Hotstar? they cannot contact a server sitting in India for that. So for that we need something called a content delivery network. A content delivery network what it does it provides you the same content but from a local location the content delivery network also caches the content which is the actual content so that you don't have to make a call to the server. So what happens when you click on play? You are actually redirected to the closest CDN server which is located to you. For Hotstar the CDN is Akamai. 
Akamai has a great CDN network which is used by different other companies too. So you are connected to one of the CDN servers and through that you are actually getting the stream. So let's recap what is happening. The stream is coming from the camera. It is going through the Hotstar servers. It is then going to the CDN servers. In the CDN servers, it is being cached. And from the CDN servers, you are able to see the video. Now you see that a large amount of things are happening in this time. Encoding is happening and on your side, decoding is also happening. And these video chunks are being passed from the server to the CDN and those chunks are coming to you and your player which you're using or hotstar player the client which they have it will organize these chunks and keep on providing you a live video which you see now the question here comes what is the time between this so this all this which is happening the encoding decoding there are various protocols which are used these days the protocols which are used are hls or http live streaming or mpeg dash now these protocols have helped improve the transmission speeds of these this live streaming videos by a lot before these were introduced the live streaming speeds were extremely low and because of that the difference between the actual streaming and the live video which you are seeing it can be as long as 60 seconds or a minute which is very large and the tv broadcast would definitely be faster than that but with the advent of these protocols, it comes quite close to the live TV broadcast, but TV broadcast can still be faster than the live streaming. Now, why have they moved to live streaming? Why? What, what was the problem we had with the TV broadcast? There are several different features which are provided with these live streaming apps. You can, you can do live chat. In this, there is a live chat, live comments which are happening. If you want to know how that plugs into this live video, I have created a video on that also. So do watch that video. I've, I will add the link in the description below. So you, you get those likes, you get the comments, you get to do several other things. People can insert their ads in, inside the video which is ongoing. There can be different types of promotions. And you can play this anywhere in your phone. You can play this with your full mobile network. What if you're traveling? You don't have a TV. How will you watch? So that's why live streaming has solved a lot of different problems which were not being able to solve by the TV broadcast things. That's why we have moved to the live streaming. And now this technology is evolving and we are seeing better and better speeds every day. So that's how live streaming works. I've tried to explain you a summary of how it completely works. I'll try and explain different concepts in detail in different videos. I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. And if you are there, press the subscribe button too. And I'll see you in the next one.